at the Bridges Shelter listening to our facilitator Jillian tell us some stories about the Bridges Shelter and how it operates in the community. One story really stuck with me. She was telling us about a family of four who came to this community um, a couple of years ago. What had happened was they used to live in a, a country that was fairly impoverished, but they themselves were fairly well off. They had their own medical clinic and were doing fairly well for themselves. Uh, the government in that country had been instilling some uh, services to try and combat terrorism in the community. Unfortunately, this group of government employees turned corrupt and ended up going to the medical clinic and threatening the family that they needed to give them all of their supplies of a certain drug or else they would kill every one of their members of their family. So they were put in a really tough spot. Either they complied and gave them all the drugs uh, or, and got arrested from the government and sent to jail, which probably in that country wasn't pleasant, or they had to run, and that's exactly what they did. They ended up in the States, and uh, through the government communications, they came to Cambridge, and mainly because at that time, the Cambridge Bridges Shelter was one of very few who had family units. So this means that the family of four didn't have to be split up. So the, the dad and the sons didn't have to go into another shelter so that, that the mom could be at a different one. And that was pretty typical of shelters at the time. So this was very few, one of very few shelters that seconds. offered a family unit. What happened was through different programs that British Shelter um, ran and through their own interactions in the community and their own collaborations through other United Way funded agencies, this family got the tools that they needed to help rebuild their lives. They got food and shelter and clothing. They were able to find new ways uh, or a new apartment and now they're actually taking their new certifications to become back to get back into the medical community and Cambridge is going to have two new doctors in our community. So please consider filling out that pledge card today to make sure that we continue to provide these services that help build our community and you can see that things like this do help the community give back. I can give at a level that feels comfortable for me and I give as an everyday hero. To me that's only a dollar a day. That's comfortable for me. So please consider what you find comfortable for you and fill out your pledge cards. Yeah, all right. Nice assertive ask.